Okay. So this is the uh, the basic setup. Uh, it's a little bit changed from the first video. I've taken away the second battery. Um, but basically we've got AC voltage coming in, DC voltage across the battery, and when these two values equal uh, are the same, then I'll know that there's no more um, no more energy that I can put in as desulfating energy. What I've got here, there's the AC coming in, one side of the AC from the transformer, the other side of the AC is up here on the battery. Um, on the negative, I'm oh, sorry, that's the, to the positive post. On the negative post of the battery, we've got um, from the AC into these reactor cores, out the reactor cores, and into the positive, sorry, into the negative leg of a diode. The diode is connected to another diode um, in series, is it? With the negative legs facing the same direction. Um, and on this leg of the diode, I've got a 250 volt, 220 US capacitor with its positive leg connected here, and a 400 volt, 180 US capacitor with its negative leg connected here. Uh, the capacitor with its positive leg has its negative leg connected to the negative side of the battery, and the capacitor with its negative leg connected here has its positive leg connected to the positive side of the battery so that as the AC signal swings, each one discharges into each side of the battery um, in, in turn. Um, and that's basically it. The, uh, it's drawing five amp, uh, half an amp at the moment, 500 milliamps. Um, as I said, the DC is 12.3 across the battery, coming in as 13.1. And the AC component going into the battery um, is minuscule, but we can look at that on the scope. If I go across and up, and I'll just adjust that a little bit. There we go, that's better. So that scope is set to 0.1 volts per graticule and it's just about taking up one graticule. So I'd say that that's about 0.09 volts ripple between the two posts of the battery. And um, I can adjust, well, as I adjust the triac on the transformer, Go up, no, that's at its maximum. If I go down, you can see that the uh, you can see the change in the capacitor load, or the capacitor input. It's going down to zero. So that's now zero. That's on. And you can see that the um, you can see the little triac curve. I don't know how well this is coming through, I'll just get that to hold again. So there's the triac curve, there's the, dis the uh, discharge pulse of the capacitor, and then the on time of the triac curve underneath. There's one there, there's one there. So that's one pulse, that's the other pulse, that's the discharge of the cap, and that's the discharge of the cap. The other cap. So that's, like I say, that's um, quite minuscule at 0.1 volts per graticule. I'll go back up to full volume again. You can see the, uh, the triac there as I increase. There's a point there now where it's um, shortening its time, like the, the curve is in the other direction. That's the capacitor being fully charged. And that's now the maximum time, but I'm not going to leave it there at maximum time because it gets too hot. So I'll just turn it back until, until the current begins to drop off and then come back up a bit. So that's about the best 
if I can do. And uh, what else do we need to see? Um, I can go and look at between the two condensers. I need to go to times 10 on the probe. And I need to go to that 2 volts per grad fuel. So this is between the two diodes. One, and one, two, half a volt per graticule, and that is set between, uh, not between the two diodes at all. Now it's between the two diodes, and I need to go to times ten, and one volt per graticule, so that's between the two diodes. Um, not much to say about that, basically. You've got time on and time off. Um, the, slope, the slope is the capacitor discharge. Uh, turn it off, you can see that it's, it's you know, the scope set to AC, so it is delivering um, a pulse on the negative side and a longer pulse on the positive side. If I um, slow down the trace, you can see that slow down the triac, um, that then develops this little bump of being like a double pulse. Uh, yeah, so I'll go back up to there, that's maximum input. Um, Just to sort of say that already, but while we've been talking, um, the meters have changed <coughs> again. Let's drop below 13 volts. 12.9 has 12. Let's come up a bit. 13.2. It does fluctuate up and down, up and down, up and down. As it, I suppose, as it does its job inside the battery. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Cool.